My name is Christy Falk, and you can find me at createwithchristy.blogspot.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and Split Coast Stampers has asked me to show you how to make my cute little witch's hat treat box. Now, I made this last year with a die that's no longer available. It was called Pyramid Pals, and this is what the box looks like. If you don't own this die set already, you can still make this box by using the template that is located in my tutorial on the Split Coast Stamper site. You're going to die cut, take a piece of five and a quarter by seven and a half inch piece of Halloween Designer Series paper, and you're going to die cut or use the template and make two box pieces. Now, on this left one, you need to put double sided tape along the tab, these two tabs, and along the perimeter of this square section in the middle. So, this is what it'll look like once you have all the uh, tape on it. Okay, now we're going to take four pieces of gold glimmer paper. Each one is going to measure two inches by three and a quarter. And I've already put some strong adhesive on it. And you want to make sure it's strong. I'm going to line up the bottom corners with the edges of this triangle. And that will get it right where it needs to be. Down here there are score lines here on this tab. I'm going to go ahead and fold this a little bit so I can see the score lines a little better and I'm going to do that on this one too. Might be able to see it a little better in the video this way too. Okay, now that they're folded, I'm going to take another piece of the glitter paper and I'm going to line the bottom corners with the score lines and the ones with tor triangles with the tabs. So I can see the score lines a little better with a fold. That looks pretty good. And now I'm going to do it on this one the same way. Line up the bottom corners with the score lines on this one. And line the bottom corners with the sides of this triangle. Okay, that's it. Now I'm going to remove the paper backing off of this square piece here. And I find sometimes it's easier to lift it off with a paper piercer. Sometimes it works fine with my fingers, sometimes it doesn't. It seems to work a little better with the paper piercer. Okay, those are all gone. Now I'm going to take this piece, I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees so the triangles with the tabs will be on opposite sides. I'm going to take the square section of this and put it right on top of the square section here, making sure to line these edges up with the score line on the bottom piece. Okay. Now I'm going to turn this over. It's always easier to make boxes if you fold the score lines before you start assembling. So since we've already done the tabs, the only ones that are left are the bottoms of these triangles. Okay, now... I'm going to take this, keep it turned over, and see how the uh, glitter paper is hanging over the side of the cardstock. So I folded down this tab, and I'm going to cut the part of the tape of the paper. Do the same on this side. Get rid of those. They're going to be a little sticky, so you have to take them off. And then the triangle without the tabs, you, you don't have to fold anything back. You just cut it off so it's not showing from the back. Okay, hurry up and do this one. And there's one last fold here. Take that off. And cut that off. Okay, now get rid of these pieces. And now it's ready to assemble. Oh, almost. I almost forgot the cute little buckle. What you're going to do is take a one and a half inch by one and a half inch piece of silver foil paper. And you're going to take about a one and an eighth inch circle and place it right in the center. And take about a three quarter inch circle die and put it right in the middle. And once you've got those right where you need them, you run them through your die cutting machine. And you'll come out with this cute little buckle here. So what I'm going to do is put some adhesive 
in a few places. That should be good. And you want to make sure that the triangle with the tape is still on top. Pull off some of this, okay? And you're going to put it right in the center of that glitter paper. Okay, now we're ready to assemble. So what I'm going to do is take the paper backing off of one of these tabs. You want to do one at a time because you don't want it sticking to places you don't want it to stick. And I'm going to take this tab and put it underneath this triangle here and you want to line the edges of the triangle with that score line and then squeeze it together. And see how these line up pretty good since we lined up the corners. I'm going to take the paper off of this one. Yep, I need to... I've got my paper piercer. There we go. Put this in. Line this side up with the score line again. And now that box is made. Now this side does not have adhesive because it's made to uh, close and stay closed. And then you can just open it up and put your treats inside. So once those are tucked in, easier said than, there we go. <laughs> Stay around. Now notice how that popped out again. So the way to fix that is once it's tucked in, then just pinch down here just a tad. And that keeps it closed. So that gets the fold a lot better. Okay, I'm going to put this over to the side for right now. Now you're going to take a three and a quarter by three and a quarter inch piece of black cardstock and you're going to put about a three inch scallop die right in the middle and die cut that. Then you need a three and a half inch paper doily. As you can see, I've already put some of the double sided tape on it. And you'll take all of the tape off of that, the paper backing, I'm sorry, and then center that and attach it. And I've got one done already. Now we need to take some tear and tape adhesive and we're going to put a few pieces right here on the bottom. Okay, and that's probably enough. I think in the tutorial I'll put down to put all the way across here. I've got one more piece made out. I'll just put it across the middle. That should hold it pretty well. And then I'm going to take the paper backing off. And then I'm going to take this and center it right on top of that scallop. And once it looks pretty good, and that looks pretty good, I'm going to push it down. And it's all ready. And that's it. Now you can just pop the back open and put your treats in. And then close it back up. And that's it. I hope you like the tutorial. Have fun making it.